Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers. We sell dental practices nationwide. Today's topic is seasoned dental attorney to the rescue, salvaging a deal. We'll go over what happened. So, as you know, we're in 28 states now. We have 10 employees, including two CPA accountants uh, and, and marketing director, operations director. We've got a very good team now and five development acquisition people. We're available to you 363 days a year. We work every day except Christmas and Easter, but we have fun every day. And hopefully we can share our knowledge with you, buyer or seller. Now our phone number is 201-663-0935 and our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwidedentalpracticebrokers.com. Please give us a call. We're here to help you and solve any problems you may have. Now, the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. If you're also thinking about selling to a large DSO group, give us a call. Because we work with them all the time, we know who the best ones are, we're in the trenches with them. We know which ones are having trouble, which ones will deliver, we're on it. So please give us a call to discuss this and we'll, we'll get into it. Uh, majority, well, when we work with uh, DSOs, generally they pay our commission, and so there's no commission to the buyer. And when you work with um, our team, we will often get your legal fees reimbursed upon a successful closing, depending on certain criteria. But we'll take care of that for you. So give us a ring, and more than happy to help you. So what happened this time? This is real live information, day to day. Okay, this is what actually happened. Sometimes some of the details are changed slightly to protect privacy and confidentiality. So here's, we have a closing coming up any day now. Now, the buyer had an inspection, well, kind of looked at the equipment, you know, was pleased with everything. Then, a few days before closing, he decided uh, that he wanted to stop at the office again. That's okay, after hours, we didn't tell the staff yet. So, he finds out that an x-ray, which was operational before, but the doctor wasn't really using it much, is no longer operational. However, the selling doctor wasn't using the x-ray, he was using the Nomad. And as you know, the Nomad is that portable x-ray. Well, the buyer starts getting insistent that that x-ray, which is sporadically working on the wall, get fixed. The doctor explained, I really don't use it that much. And I'm using the Nomad virtually all the time. The only time I use it is if somebody else is using the portable x-ray machine, the Nomad. So I don't use it. So, you know, maybe that's why it's not working, but I don't think I should be responsible to get this machine. And it was an older machine. It worked, but, you know, it didn't work great. But it wasn't a main tool because he took the x-rays mostly with the Nomad. So now the buyer is upset. We got a few days before closing. New x-ray on the wall. We're in summer of 23. You're talking about close to $5,000. That's a big chunk of change. Now, although the buy, the seller said that, you know, it's going to be operational, the equipment, uh, he was truthful because he has the Nomad. Here's what happened. The buyer and the seller's attorney were both dental attorneys. They knew what a Nomad is. And they knew that it was a great machine and it's portable and how it works and everything. Because of their knowledge, seller's attorney and buyer's attorney, being seasoned dental uh, attorneys with the experience and knowing what about the Nomad, they were able to talk down the buyer and said, look, Nomad is just as sufficient. It takes the x-ray. Doctor's been using it. You can't get into this thing about replacing the x-ray on the wall, which is older, it would cost $5,000. So it was the buyer's attorney talking about this and seller's attorney talking about this. They were both knowledgeable and they talked the buyer 
so to speak, off the ledge of being upset, won $5,000. The seller was pissed, the buyer was upset, but because we had two dental attorneys who could work it out that knew about the Nomad. Now you bring in an outside attorney, knows nothing about the Nomad portable x-ray, you know, he may screw up the deal. He's not gonna learn everything overnight about the Nomad. These dental attorneys knew about the Nomad. They knew about the equipment. They knew how reliable it was. They knew how safe it was. Because of that knowledge, I call this uh, video dental attorney, seasoned dental attorney to the rescue. This happens time and time again. Now, fortunately, being a broker with a lot of experience, they also consulted with me and I was able to jump in and tell them what the story was. But because um, if we had one of the dental attorneys, which wasn't a dental attorney, this deal could be screwed up. We had working knowledge, so they immediately can lean on their previous knowledge. That's what they did. And consequently, everything is working out now. Save a lot of money. Now some of you think, well, I'll get my buddy who's an attorney and he'll just do it for half the price. Yeah, you throw him with the Nomad and tell him to solve this problem. He has no experience to draw on, no experience. And it might have cost the seller $5,000 more because uh, somebody was thinking about using a non-dental attorney because they figured, I got this. I've done a few deals, I can handle this. Well, the best one is, when they say, I've used this attorney before on one of my other deals, and I was pleased. Every dental deal is different. It's never the same. There's always a different twist. And you've got to be on your game. And you've got to have the knowledge. And frankly, this guy didn't have the knowledge. He simply did not have the knowledge, had it been a non-dental attorney. So it worked out really great. I'm really excited about this. Anyway, thank you for listening. We have a lot of new information coming out. Listen to everything, and we'll try to get this together for you. We have a new email blast coming out. We're coming up on 4th of July. I think we'll get that out soon um, so you can be up, up with everything. Uh, we try to hit you with all the breaking news um, every time it comes, and uh, sometimes it's just within hours, and we tell you what the resolution was to the problems. There's always chaos and there's always problems. You don't have seasoned attorneys, brokers that know what they're doing, and that are available. We're 24 seven essentially every day, except Christmas and Easter. We're on it. So please give us a call and hit the subscribe button so you can see what's coming up next. Thank you.